Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Video Boy, and welcome to Archipelago Devlog number 44. Okay, so we're going to do a pretty quick devlog this week since I have to get working on a couple other things, including the website and uh, maybe start the next tutorial series. Um, so for this devlog, we added the inventory system. So adding the inventory involves a couple of other things as well, including the events and the form system. So to quickly explain the event system, it's basically um, a system on the server and it allows us to handle different events when different things happen in the game in different classes that don't necessarily concern it. Um, so for example, in the uh, we have a form manager now, I'll explain that a little later. Um, there are forms that are opened for different players. But when a player leaves, we want to remove the forms that have to do with the player that just left since they're not there so we don't need to handle them anymore. So we have a player leave event and then when a player leaves it triggers uh, the event and then it gets handled by the form manager so it can remove the forms for that player. Um, so uh, the form manager doesn't really have anything to do with the player class so uh, instead of linking the form manager to the player and then handling it that way we kind of have two separate things happening uh, but they're linked together with the event system so that's kind of nice it'll make some things uh, overall easier in the future. Another thing that we implemented was the form system. So this allows for us to have special forms that the client can interact with and have effects on things in the server. So one application of this would be to have a shop where the player can pick items to buy and then they would tell the server okay I want to buy these items at this quantity and then the server would handle the rest, they would uh, take away the money that's required and it would add the items to their inventory. So up until now, basically everything was all client side. So we could have added forms to, you know, change settings on the client or things like that. But we never really had a system to affect things on the server. Um, so that's what uh, this is used for. Currently, the only form we implemented was the inventory. And so far, you can only really move items around from different slots or even to different inventories. Uh, so it's not super exciting, uh, but it is possible to equip and unequip items. Uh, such as clothes and things like that, and that'll be really useful for next devlogs goals. Alright, so on to the goals. For the next devlog, we plan on adding the combat system. So just adding the combat itself isn't super difficult, it's more uh, it's more about art and things like that. Um, but the coding for it uh, is very simple. Um, but we also plan on implementing a new class system. Um, so this is going to be very interesting. I showed it in a live stream recently. Uh, but nothing's finalized, we still have a couple details to figure out. Uh, but it looks very cool and I think you guys are going to like it. Alright, like I said, it was a short devlog, so that's it for uh, this devlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be streaming this week, if you're watching this devlog this week. Um, I will be streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I stream today as well. Um, so we finished the, uh, the website off today. We're probably going to publish it uh, later today around the same time that this devlog comes out. Uh, so be sure to check that out. And um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you can see more devlogs. And I'll, also, I'll probably do a video talking about the status of the tutorial series. Uh, maybe this week, um, or maybe next week if I don't release a tutorial this week. So um, more on that later, guys. Anyways, see ya. Bye.